In this video, we're going to see how to improve the recruitment process using Office 365. We will use few activities as examples to show how to perform them more efficiently. For recruitment, we need to work within the HR team as well as with other departments. We end up doing that using a lot of emails and then replies and forwards and CCs and it becomes confusing. But there is a better way, using Office 365 Teams app. We just create a team for the work we intend to do, in this case, recruitment for finance department. All you have to do is add members from different departments when you're ready to go. Creating a team is easy, just give it a name and description, add email IDs of participants, and that's it. Only the team members can see and respond to team communication. There could be multiple positions open. This is the team we just created, the finance department recruitment. The team can have multiple channels. We're going to use one channel for each open position. That way, all the communication related to each position is segregated and focused. The general channel is used for common discussion. To communicate with others, just post a message in the right channel. People will reply to it. All the replies are kept together along with the original message. You can have multiple such replies without mixing up and confusion. What happens in Teams remains in Teams. The best part is Inbox is not used at all. For each position, we need a job description or JD. Usually we store these files in the My Documents folder on the laptop. Not a good idea because others can't access these files. If you send these files as attachments, too many copies get created. New versions need to be mailed again and again. All this leads to more confusion. The solution is to use the Files tab in Microsoft Teams app. All related files should be stored here. But wait, there is one more thing to do. Always create folders first and then upload files. Everyone in the team can edit and view the files. You can also work with Teams on the go using the Android or iPhone apps. Typically, we use a shared email address for receiving CVs. This mailbox is used by multiple recruiters for multiple open positions. This leads to a lot of confusion about who handles which CVs. It can result in duplicated efforts and delayed responses. The best option is to create a special email ID for each open position, for each channel in this case. Use this email ID for receiving CVs. The incoming CVs are posted in the channel automatically. Everyone can read the message, view the CV, like it and comment on it. Recruitment activities are now easier and more focused. Timely execution is very important. Everyone needs to know who is doing what and when. No problem. Notice the plus sign in the Teams app. Many powerful tools can be added from here. We will add a planner tab to create and manage tasks. Specify the task details, the due date and assign it to team members. All team members can see what others are doing. This helps you execute the work faster. Now it's time to send offer letters. These templates should be stored in the files tab inside the Teams app. That way, everyone uses the latest versions of templates. When a template changes, there is no need to resend it to everyone by mail. But what about recruiting checklists? Did you know that OneNote is a smart way of creating standardised checklists? Type a checklist in OneNote for the first time and add it as a page template. Now you can reuse it. Create and manage separate lists for each candidate in just a few clicks. The recruitment checklists can be added to Teams. When an item is marked as completed, the date time stamp is automatically stored. 
Arrange interviews and meetings using the team calendar. You get built-in video calls for interviewing candidates from remote locations. Remember to use the video feature in any situation when analysing the body language matters. Finally, let us explore data analytics. I want to find out the gender distribution across locations by analysing the employee database. We do this using pivot tables and charts. Power BI is the new way of analysing data visually. Here is a Power BI report created using the same employee data. The map is drawn automatically based upon the location names. No special software is required. Click anywhere in the charts to apply filters. It is easy to use and interactive. You can even create impressive infographics using Power BI. The Power BI dashboard can be added to Teams. This way, all team members can see the live reports right within Teams. No need to email reports repeatedly. Let us recap. The activities we covered are quite common, but by using Teams instead of emails, we can communicate more easily, coordinate better and execute faster. We could also learn more about data and act on it faster. Using the right tool in the right place helps to achieve more with less effort. Would you like to try this out? Why not ask IT to conduct a pilot for you? This link has all the information your IT team needs to set up the Office 365 pilot. Thanks for your time. Cheers.